Hi everyone! In this video we will show you how to create an executive script for our escape room system. Uh, we will make a simple puzzle with a light sensor, trigger and an LED lamp. Digital text system consists of DT extenders, a DT USB and the software running on PC and executing a script scenario. The DT extender is a unified input-output module. It has 12 plug-and-play inputs. It means each of them can work with different types of triggers. So, directly to the DT extender, you can connect RFID readers, read switch, and other types of discrete and analog sensors. All the inputs can be used as low-power discrete outputs as well. Some inputs support built-in touch sensors. The DT extender has 8 unified 12 volt power outputs. You can supply power to magnetic locks, servo motors, power LEDs, relays directly. These modules can be connected in a daisy chain up to 255 extenders at once. The DT USB is a bus controller used for communication between the PC and extenders. The DT MSC software is a simple step-by-step -step interpreter designed to execute and manage a DT script, control the devices connected to the DT USB, sound devices, and a program interface. This program runs on a PC with Windows 7 or higher. The script is the set of primitive commands. One line is one command. The command description and more information about DTMSC software can be found in our website. Let's start to create a puzzle. First of all, we need to connect the light sensor and LED lamp to the extender. The light sensor is the photoresistor or light-dependent resistor and we'll use it in a discrete mode. All the inputs support the discrete mode with a pull-up resistor and we don't need any additional components to use LDR. So we connect the light sensor to the input number one. The LED lamp can be connected to any of the eight outputs. Let's use output 1 for the LED lamp. Connect extender to DTUSB and supply power. Connect DTUSB to the PC. The hardware is ready. Let's start making a script file. Run DTMSC program. Double click on the main window, open the script editor. The script text starts with the initialization commands which are described in software manual. So we just copy and paste them from the manual. The define.dtf is a file where we have already defined the common used parameters and variables. Add command to save the script. The next step is to open the DT bus controller, check its status and reset all modules connected to it. In our case, we have only one module. We copy and paste the code of this from the manual as well. The two following commands is the loading the white visualization panel into the main program window. It is better to use the clear panel to display the information for operator. Define the variable of the trigger status. Create the infinite loop where the program will be reading the light sensor output and controlling the LED lamp. Let's read the light sensor. We use the command request data from module to get the data from the light sensor. In our case, the COM port number is zero. We have only one DT USB. And DT extender address is equal one, one module. Parameter CMD is the command code, which can be interpreted as the address of the input 1 with the pull-up resistor. Its value can be found in the module manu manual. But the easiest way is to use the defined values from the file, file define.dtf. So we just write variable instead of CMD. The variable data is 0. The type of data we are reading is integer, so parameter type is zero. And the final parameter is the variable where the trigger status will be written. We use the variable named trig status for this. The variable trig status is zero in the low light and one in the high light. 
control LED lamp, we use the command send command to DT modules. Copy and paste the command from the manual. The COM port number and device address is the same as in the previous command. The CMD is equal WOUT1, the 12 volt output number 1, and the data is equal to trig status. This command sets the power 0 at the output 1 when the trig status equals 0 and sets power 12 volt when trig status equals 1. Now we can run the script. Push the play button and the program starts to execute the script. The LED lamp is turned on when the light is high. Let's change the logic when the LED lamp is turned on. We want to turn on the LED lamp when the light is low and turn it off when it's high. To do this, we create the new variable LED power, which is equal 1 minus trig status. And then we will use it to set the power at the output 1. And finally, let's add the information about trigger status at the program board. Push the play button. As you can see, the LED lamp is turned off when the light is high, and it's turned on when the light is low. The light sensor state is displayed on program board.